Good morning everybody. In today's session, we will start up with the determination of priority line when the dam is homogeneous and provided with the horizontal filter. So here, the Kessel grain assumed that the priority lines to be a base parabola with its focus F and starting point of the filter Fe. Over here, this is your profile of the dam A. This one is profile of your dam and here they have provided the horizontal filter you can see and here first thing what we have to do is take the upstream side that is AB face and take the horizontal distance of A and B point that is it is horizontally being projected and this distance is L. Next we have to take mark a point C this one from the B point with a distance of point 3 into L then you will get this distance. Then this point C point will be the starting point of the base parabola. Next, we have to locate the directrix of the parabola. The principle that any point on the parabola is equidistant from the focus as well as the directrix is utilized here. So here with the C as a center and F, C F as a radius, we are going to draw an arc like this to cut the line CB. We are going to project CB line and this point will be your D point. Draw the vertical tangent. This one you can see here. This is a vertical tangent. So to the F D at the D point evidently CD is equal to CF. Hence the vertical line D and H over here you can see D and H is your directrix. Next the last point G on the parabola will be evidently lie midway between F and H. In, or, in order to locate the intermediate points on the parabola, we use a principle that its distance from the focus and directrix must be equal. For example, to locate a point P, this point, P point, draw a vertical line QP at any distance X from the this point from the F point and measure the distance Q H this distance this distance we have to measure as reduces and draw an arc perpendicular through the vertical line Q in point P then join all these points you will get a base of the parabola. So this is what we will be getting the base of the parabola. But correction is to be made at an entry point. The protic line must start from B not from C. Also the protic line is, is a flow line and must start perpendicularly to the upstream phase AB which is 100% equipotential line. The base parabola should also meet the downstream filter perpendicular at this point that is at G point. In order to find out the equation of base parabola consider any point P. Now we will just take an equation 
of the base parabola considering any point p which i have explained you before on it with the coordinate x and y coordinate means over here this will be your y coordinate this will be x coordinate from the filter okay so x and y coordinate with respect to the focus f as an origin from the property of the parabola we have pf is equal to p pf is equal to qh so using this one pf is equal to it is nothing but we are going to consider a right angle triangle for that and then we are going to find out what is pf that is square root of x square plus y square plus qh is nothing but this distance is nothing but qf plus fh so that is this distance is x distance that is qf is x and then fh is the distance s so your equation will be square root of x square plus y square is equal to x plus s so after solving you will get an equation y square is equal to 2 x s plus s square this is an equation for the base parabola in order to get an expression for discharge q through a body of the dam so here we are going to consider a vertical section pq for that q is equal to k i into a wherein i is dy by dx and a is for a unit length we are going to consider that's why y into 1 so your equation will be q is equal to k into dy by dx into y into 1 from the equation 1 so y is equal to 2x s plus s square whole to the power of 1 by 2 that is square root of so here i have to find out dy by dx value so what i will do we will differentiate this one this equation with respect to x then the equation will be s divided by 2 x s plus x square to the power of 1 by 2 you will get this equation and substitute this dy by dx in the equation 2 so your q will be equal to k into s so this is how we are going to determine the protic line for the homogeneous dam provided with the horizontal filter next we'll go for determination of protic line when the dam section is homogeneous without filter here the protic line can be determined on the same principle as applied for the dam with a filter case the focus f of the parabola in this case will be the lowest point of the downstream slope over here this will be your f point and the base of pora parabola c i j g with will cut the downstream slope at j point and extend it beyond the dam to up to the point g the seepage line will however emerge out at k entering the downstream phase tangentially the portion of kf is known as discharge phase and always remains saturated so here there is two conditions when the alpha this angle is less than 30 degree and which is more than 90 degree so for first condition when alpha is less than 30 degree this distance a is e is given by this equation when alpha lies between 30 degree or plus 
that is plus 60 degree then you will be getting this equation to determine a so this is about determination of protic line when the dam section is homogeneous without filter next we'll solve one problem on this phenomena so here in an in the problem they have given an earthen dam made of homogeneous material has a following data they have given a coefficient of perme of permeability of the dam material is 5 into 10 raised to minus 4 centimeter per second and they have given the profile of the dam in which they have given the top width and then the deepest river depth they have given that is they have given the RL and RL of high flood level of the reservoir they have given and the top width of the dam is about 4.5 meter and they have given the side slopes and length of the horizontal filters also they have given and they have asked us to determine the protic length for this dam section and discharge we have to find out so we'll see how we are going to find out this using the given data first thing we have to draw a profile of the dam over here this is the profile this is the profile of the dam and here the top width of the dam is 4.5 and then the RL of the top of the dam is 200 meter and at the bottom they have given is about 178 using this you will get this height that is 22 around and here they have given highest flood level RL that is 197.5 here this one is you know 178 so you will be getting this height that is 19.5 so this will be your B point now they have given the upstream side slope is 3 horizontal to 1 vertical using this one I can calculate what is this distance that is 58.5 and then using this height this is 22 and then I have a slope then I can calculate this distance that is approximately 66 so this one this distance will be 7.5 ok now I got this distance for 4.5 and this is your horizontal filters what they have provided is about 25 meters from the bottom from the base of the dam and overall this distance remaining remaining distance this one from the bottom of the toe to this is about 44 meter this one also we have got from at the upstream side they have provided the slope of 2 horizontal to one vertical and you know this height you can calculate what is a horizontal distance after everything your drawing will be like this so you can see here this is 66 58.5 and then 7.7.5 .7 here you can you you have got this 44 meter everything is been set and now I got L using this one I have to mark a point C that is point 3 times of L that is point 3 into 58.5 that is 17.5 then you got the starting point starting point of the parabola and then 
you got this f value now i want to calculate what is the value of s before that we'll go for any point any point i have to start up with the points for the protix lines so these are some of the points first thing what we have to consider we have to use an equation of the parabola that is square root of x square this one square root of x square plus y square is equal to x plus s using this one we have to calculate s for that we have to go for trial and error method first we have to start up with this point so here at this point your x value will be 0 correspondingly y value will we have to check and then for each point we have to go like this only so x value for 0 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 till 48.5 why 48.5 because this is the distance for 44 overall distance and this till here i have to get the protic lines correct so this is the end point of the protic line from there we can go for joining directly let me explain you clearly over here with the drawing so this this distance is 48 correct so this is your starting point and this is your end point somewhere over here this will be your protic lines and remaining portion we can go for free sketch correct this is from the c point but in practical the protic line starts from b point what we have discussed in the protic lines topic so till here i have to find out what is x value s value and then s value so here for first thing i have to find out only the s value for this point that is end point of x and as well as y point here at this point what is the height that is y is 19.5 that we have got and this x value is 48.5 that is 44 plus 4.5 so that's why the end point of x is 48.5 and the end point of y is 19.5 this you'll get a better idea if you are going to draw this profile of the dam and everything in the graph sheet you'll be getting the y value easily okay using this 48.5 as x value and 19.5 as y so we have we can calculate what is s that is s is equal to 3.77 meters this is about protic lines next part of the problem is we have to find out the quantity of seepage that is nothing but they have asked us to calculate discharge so discharge is equal to k into s so here in the problem they have given k as 5, 5 into 10 rise to minus 4 centimeter per second is a unit so here it will be 5 into 10 rise to minus 6 because i have converted centimeter into meter into 3.77 so you'll be getting the value that will be your discharge but the val the unit will be meter cube per second per meter this is about a problem on protic line when they have provided the drainage filter sorry horizontal filters next we'll solve the problem wherein the protic we have to determine the protic line for a dam without horizontal filters in the next class we'll take up that set of problem thank you